by birds of prey. And, and the impact of human actions on our planet today. We're going to, we're going to share what we've discovered on how we can help protect biodiversity. Biodiversity is like the heartbeat of Earth, a rhythm created by the many different life forms, their interactions, and the special moments they create, called ecosystems. Sadly, some of the things people do are making it harder for these life forms to drive, and some are even at risk of disappearing forever. How can we find a balance between making their lives better and making sure the plants and animals around us stay healthy too? This question has led us on a journey of exploration, research, and connections. Join us as we unravel the story of one of men's biodiversity. It's not just about animals, it's about clean air to breathe, yummy food to eat, cozy homes to sleep. Healthy medicines, the beauty of our world, every living thing, from tiny microbes to majestic elephants, and plants work together to keep our planet healthy. Let's explore and learn together how we can be superheroes for biodiversity. Please sit back and enjoy. We hope you can learn as much as we did. Or 
interdependent and so an interesting and unexpected things. Our story began with a special focus on grey wolves. A long time ago, grey wolves and deer roamed freely in the United States. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gracias.
فأنا هلبس من تلاء الحيوانات التي أصطادها لا أكلها من الحيوانات البرية ولحوم الحيتان التي تشعر من التكتب والتكيف في البيئة الباردة Even though in 1986 a group 
was the International Whaling Commission later moved the said no more hunting whales. Some humans in Japan, Iceland, and Norway still hunt us. We are in danger! I'm sorry for all the harm I got to Can you tell us more about your ocean home? Ocean is a bad thing. Who people? Dolphins. Dolphins, even other And don't forget about coral reefs. They're like underwater cities, but your actions like overfishing and pollution are threatening their existence. For children to be able to work those resources to meet our needs. You should be able to use those resources, but overfishing and destructive fishing practices are being harmful to the ocean's bodies. Sadly, there are only about 10,000 to 25,000 blue whales left of us today. Our population has declined. So what actions do you suggest we take to, 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 save, to save the ocean while still meeting our needs? It's important to avoid plastic waste and take care of the ocean so all the marine species can be with including my whale friends. Stop whaling and apply responsible fishing practices to help and maintain a healthy ocean. Also promoting awareness about the importance of ocean protection will really help people our marine species. We understand your concern. Humans rely on the ocean for many resources and the
by diversity. Climate change causes natural disasters like hurricanes, floods, and wildfires, which destroy habitats where animals and plants live. Also, change in temperature can make it hard for some animals and plants to live, where they used to forcing them to move or adapt. But hey, here's the cool part. When you do things to fight climate change, like using renewable energy, we're also helping out biodiversity. It's like a big circle of life. July 2023 was confirmed to be the hottest month ever recorded in, hu recorded in human history. It's not just global warming anymore. It's more like global boiling. And get this, it's all because what humans do. Remember, we don't have any planets B. In the 1990s, the government took action and restored the balance of 
of biodiversity by bringing us back. That's what the magic happened. We stopped overgrazing. Trees grew back, river banks stabilized, and beavers returned. So if we work together, recognize the value of biodiversity, and act fast, we can make our world a better place for everyone.
the Tibet has representative in China. In China, the government has been doing a lot to help join Pactus, like protecting their homes, beating them and releasing them into the wild. They've even made laws to, to stop people from hunting pandas. All these efforts have really paid off. In 2016, a group called the International Union for Conservation of Nature said that pandas moved from being endangered to vulnerable, which means they're safer now. Moving on to Alma in France. La France est le troisième plus grand pays d'Europe. La France a décidé de développer une économie sans pollution, de protéger et de restaurer la nature. La France a marqué sa volonté de faire entrer la biodiversité dans le champ de toutes les politiques publiques. L'engagement pris en 2002 s'est traduit par le dépôt de projet de loi de cadre pour la biodiversité. Cette loi a permis plusieurs avancées. 1. Création de l'agence française pour la biodiversité. 2. Protection des sols d'intérêt général. 3. Interdire certains genres de pesticides. 4. Renforcer les outils de protection des espèces en danger. En France, il y a des associations de protection de la faune et de la fleur, comme Aspa, Envolver et les Amis de la Terre. Et maintenant, avec Anas de l'Égypte. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Anas de l'Égypte. في مصر قمنا بتأسيس المحميات الطبيعية والمناطق المحمية للحفاظ على النظم البيئية المتنوعة والحياة البرية ومن هذه المناطق محمية رأس محمد ومحمية سيوة وتقوم مصر بتحزيز التشريعات البيئية لمكافحة الصيد غير المشروع وحماية الحياة البرية وتشارك مصر بك بفعالية في الجهود الدولية لمواجهة التحديات المناخية قبل 27 وتحفيز التعاون الدولي لتحقيق التكامل في جهود مواجهة التغيير المناخي أنا سعيد من مصر <تصفيق> To achieve our goal of saving the planet, thank you for joining us today. This is GPIS News. Until next time.
TPIS has gone digital to save people by using managed back. Consent forms are now emailed to parents instead of being sent with students, which also saves people, which helps protect forests and wildlife habitats. The IT department is very keen on reducing the use of paper. They have reached 40 packs of paper per month instead of 50. GPS has established a paper space room so the GPS community can have usable or recycled materials, reducing waste and smoothing by their Additionally, for the support of our student council managers, GPS collaborated with Becky, a recycling company. Now, each class has boxes for plastic and paper, making sure Becky can collect and recycle them every month, supporting biodiversity. GPS departments also suggested more ways to support biodiversity. They suggested making GPS brown water bottles to avoid the use of plastic. They also suggested installing solar panels and starting a small recycling company in school to reduce our carbon footprint and actively engage students in sustainable practices. Additionally, they want to teach planting lessons to spread awareness among students. We hope to keep implementing biodiversity friendly practices in GPIs. In order to achieve biodiversity conservation, we need to think about our decisions in almost every aspect of daily life.
to the door. And share an action you have taken or plan to take to preserve to preserve biodiversity. And don't forget to claim your giveaway. A beautiful plant waiting to bring life and energy into your space. And always remember, preserving <laughs> biodiversity begins with you. Given the fact that you have done so much research and you've arrived to so many um, such deep conclusions, and we hope that you keep your promise and you actually, uh, if you're going to conserve energy, if you're going to take care of nature, this is what you do, and take care of your families and friends, and make sure they follow that as well. Thank you all very very much, and thank you for coming. The rest of the crew, not only the students. So I'd like to see Ms. Noor on stage. Thank you very much. Natalia. Noel. Ed. Nene. Soha. Nene Sawi. Ms. Jenny. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for the lovely program. Thank you everyone for such an amazing learning journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know where to look? <laughs>